Fittingly, we were at Navy Pier. And yeah, so you remember her like trying to sneak in my videos before, and well, now she's still doing it, but this time as a sailor. We've seen a couple other uh, brand new seamen out there. I'm a seaman recruit. That's how you started, a seaman. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, dad joke. <laughs> that was a really, really bad, Yo, inappropriate it, dad joke. Yeah. So here we are. I have not made a video in a long time. I'll get into that story some other time, but we're at uh, Great Lakes Naval Station. My daughter's graduating boot camp today. And uh, we're so, so proud of her. We got our grandson here. I'll get into that story sometime too, because I haven't, you guys have missed a lot, but I'm gonna get what we can. We're gonna visit with my daughter today. This graduation's already got us like emotional. So. Poor brave reps. Okay, so good morning. Uh, good morning to everyone. It's a pretty full room, so it's awesome to see. The first thing I want to do is say congratulations to all of you. You made a decision, I don't know how long ago. It might have been a while ago if you were in the, in the delayed entry program. And now it's finally ship day. So now you get to go on and you get to carry through this decision that you've made. Group, attention. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I Sierra Branch. Do solemnly swear. Do you solemnly swear that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I will obey the orders. That I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers. And the orders of the officers. Appointed over me. Appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the uniform code of military justice. And the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God.
Strikes Award winners. Each of you have made one of the biggest decisions of your life. From this day forward, your life will be forever changed. Whether you serve your Navy and your nation for four years or 40, you will have achieved something that all of the citizens of our great, our great nation greatly admire, but few actually do. That is to earn the honor of wearing the cloth of our nation and serving it in a way that deeply affects us all. You have come from across our great nation, from its cities, its suburbs, and rural areas. You have chosen to come here for many reasons, and we revel in the unique capabilities each of you bring. But all of you have chosen to become part of something bigger than yourself, to wholly and visibly stand for something noble. In a world where words are all too often just a collection of letters, you have taken action and you have joined an organization that deeply lives by the terms of honor, courage, and commitment. You have joined an organization that certainly recognizes the skills of its individuals, but values the success of a team, where term teamwork means success or failure. In a world that all too often brags about themselves, we brag about our shipmates. We brag about our teams. I congratulate each and every one of you for persevering through the demanding curriculum here at RTC. You should be rightfully proud of your accomplishment. As you go forth into the fleet, know that learning is a continuous process and you will continue to be challenged in ways you had not anticipated, but I know the training that you have received here at RTC that you are more than up to the task. I know that no sailor does this alone. We all work and succeed as a team. The title of shipmate that we use is one not given, but is earned and greatly valued. That team also includes your families. So I say to the family members here today and those who are unable to be present, Thank you and congratulations. Thank you for your hard work and sacrifice in raising your daughter or son, those who stand so proudly here today, and for trusting the U.S. Navy with their future. You have enabled their success, and your sales achievement today is also yours. So again, I say congratulations to you. Flags, posts, section leaders, fall out and retreat outer garments.
Did you see us up there? Yes! And I saw him! I was like, wait, what the fuck? I saw you smile, I saw you shake your head. I was like, wait, what is she doing? We're getting run in. Let's walk down here by the doors because we're getting run into. Carmen! Carmen! See you soon! Oh, look at Dan's gonna be. That's a little Navy Pier on Lake Michigan in Chicago. I look like a total fucking tourist douchebag right now, but I don't really care. Um, again, like I said earlier, I can't say enough how proud I am of my baby girl. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of our day. I'll get some more video, and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, here we go. So we just stopped at, we're, oh, she's hijacking. Look at we my stopped brain. for pizza at the Navy Pier, and I really hope that's not indicative of all Chicago pizza, because it was kind of ass. I told you, Giordano. <laughs> I don't know. She wants Garbajos or something. Garbajos. I, I don't know, Garbajos, I don't know. She wants something, but anyway, we're walking around. I was gonna get video. Oh, look, now you can see the city a little bit better. I'll show you in just a second. I want to get out from away, uh, get out away from the door a little bit. Let's get over here. Okay, let's take a look. Good news, fam. I picked rush hour to leave downtown <laughs> Chicago, so it's going to take us, according to GPS. Like an hour and 40 minutes to get from downtown to Chicago to what's it called? We Chicago? We Waukega. Turn right onto North Columbus ah. Drive. Waukegan? Waukegan. Waukegan. I don't know. So let's just trying to get the fuck out of here. I don't know why I'm in a hurry. What? Nothing. I got us here without dying. So barely. <laughs> Whatever. Reading like fucking Instagram messages and shit. When we were stopped on the fucking freeway, I, we were stopped. Okay, we stopped on the freeway. Yeah, I'm gonna check messages. I always do that shit. Oh my god. Round two. I just talked for a good three, four minutes and it wasn't recording. So uh, instead of trying to retrace my steps. Anyway, uh, day two. We are. Well, she wanted to go shopping, but it's like not at quite 10 o'clock and everything's closed. So we're just sitting in the fucking car, man, in the parking lot. My butt hurts from yesterday. I'm sore from walking. We walked at least 
eight, nine, twelve miles, something like that. You're so dramatic. <laughs> no, it was like a mile and a half. That's how fucking out of shape I am. I'm in no shape to exercise, man. Yeah, I woke up so. St I woke up more stiff this morning. Oh my god, it's awful. But. Clearly, I need to. I mean, you can see. I clearly need to exercise more. But um, anyway, so we're just kind of waiting for things to open. She wants to go to Ulta. It's over right over here to buy whatever chicks buy at Ulta. And she's got some new shoes from Dick's um, Sporting Goods. See, because they match my tracksuit. Yeah, so that's important when you're in the military. You got to make sure you match while you're sweating your ass off. Well, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna wear the tracksuit to run. What are you gonna wear the tracksuit to? To look good. I, I mean, maybe when it's cold I'll wear it, but right now it's just... It's, okay. So you, you get, um, <laughs> you get the yeah. fashion, some little fashion stuff in the... I, I don't yeah, know. a lot of people say that the Navy's a fashion show because we have a lot of uniforms. Yeah, it's nice. And we have to put it in a garment bag, a tracksuit. We can't fold it. Oh, shit, it's like bougie. Is it like a Louis Vuitton one? No, I think it's Champion. Oh, Ooh. Champion? Oh, you get a skateboard, walk around with that shit too? Like all them skater kids? No? Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to try to record some more and then I'll talk, I'll talk a little bit more about the trip and there she goes hijacking me again. And I'll talk a little bit more about everything that's been going on over the last year and a half. A lot to catch up on. Shit, maybe I'll make a separate video because between the, look at those guns, man. <laughs> So, because between the graduation yesterday and everything else, I just feel like it's going to be a really long video. <laughs> and when people see shit like 27 minutes on, um, she had Ebola while she was in boot camp, but um, people see 27 minutes on a video, they're less likely to click on it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make one big old long video and say fuck it. So we're at, at the recommendation of uh, my wife and a friend on Twitter, we're at a place called, I don't know if it's Giordano's or Giordano's. But supposedly it's one of the like best best pizza spots in the Chicago area. We were gonna to go to another place, a buddy of mine said Giordano's or Gino's East. And I wanted to try that. Um, because usually what my wife recommends sucks. And uh, no, no, I'm just kidding, no, I'm kidding. No. She actually does a lot better at this kind of stuff than I do. But um, because they took the time to respond on Twitter, I, I like that kind of shit. I don't know, it's just like, I don't know. But we're gonna try it. Supposedly, like, I looked at the pictures and it's like super deep dish. And I, at first I thought it was like mostly bread, I guess. But looking at the pictures, no, it's like pounds of cheese. My daughter had us going to look at um, makeup and shoes. David's Bridal. Go Fasters. Go Fasters. That's what we called sneakers. Nobody says fucking sneakers. But anyway, um, that's what we called sneakers in boot camp in the Marines, too. And they gave her, like, you know, SAS, those old lady ass shoes? So not only does she, she has granny panties that are like, look like big old bloomers, I guess, or giant. And they gave me an extra large. I'm not extra large. She's not extra large. She's pretty damn small. Yeah. So I don't get it. I could go, I could literally jump out of a plane and I would be fine without a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold your drawers open, it'll slow yeah. you down. All I gotta do is be like. So, how was it? We can't. Yep. It was fun. What was your favorite part? Uh, well, my favorite part I can't talk about. Um, okay. So I'll talk about my second favorite thing, which was the confidence chamber, which what was is the gas chamber. The gas chamber. They call it the confidence chamber because we need to be confident in the gear that the Navy provides us with. <laughs> it was really fun, so we all stood in a line in this little room. It was two divisions, so that's like 160 people in one tiny room. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so then we, we would line up in a line, right? And we had to, they would say, mask up, cup up. So um, we had to take our mask off and hold a cup up in case we had like snot or like throw up or anything. And you'd have to say like Seaman Recruit Branch Division 299. And you had to wait for all 18 people in the front row to say it before you could leave. And like I was fine, like it didn't make me like 
what is it called? Like it didn't make my nose run or anything. Yeah. Um, but it burned around my eyes and around my mouth. Um, and it made me cough. Like it, I could feel it on my skin before I took my mask off. But um, it made my my throat burn. So I was like, see me in your bridge, me to it. And then I got to run out, and my chief was like this. So I was right in front of the window, and my chief was like this, staring at all of us. It was so funny. I remember but, doing that too. Doing everybody, what? Everybody like ran out of the room, and we got to go outside and like breathe and whatever. And some guy turned around so fast that his snot from his nose landed on one of my shipmates' buns, and it was so gross. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, <laughs> "Bun in her hair, like not, not her buns, like." I told her, I told her, it's natural gel. It's gross. It was gross. Did she it's, gag? Ugh. She, she was like, I need to hygiene. <laughs> I like, it was. It it's was nasty. Funny. But her favorite part, they call it battle stations. She can't talk about it, I guess. But you can look that shit up on YouTube where they give like high level overviews. So. We had to sign a page thirteen saying that we wouldn't talk about it. Yeah, that's fine. I get it. It was good though. They said that we could talk about it with people who are privileged enough to earn the honor of getting the Navy ball cap. So. Oh. Well, I was in the Marines, so. Well, that trumps everything. You don't get to know. I do get to know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I get it. <clears throat> so, anyway, it's been a fun trip, man. Two, two days. We've got about an hour and a half, two hours left with her. We're going to drop her back off at the base. It's going to be kind of sad. And then, um, yeah, we'll head up the airport. Chicago, O'Hare. This has been, uh, it's been an experience. Oh, and Illinois is beautiful. I haven't gotten a lot of... Some of my older videos, I do a lot of landscape shots, but I've had to pay attention to... Uh, GPS so much on this trip that I haven't really had a chance to hold the camera, but I, I've been up to this area a few times back in the 90s I dated a girl from up here and I'd fly up and visit her, but it was always in the winter Or near winter, so everything was dead, but it's gorgeous. I mean Florida Florida holds a special place and all the tropical plants and Wildlife and whatever, but I don't know. It's just it's nice up here So we'll see in a little bit when we drop her off and yeah this is where I went. I did this yesterday? Yes. I don't remember doing this. We're taking her back. I don't even know if it's looking at you or not. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> what kind of ghetto shit are you having? Okay, I'm just documenting my death to hookers or something. Stop. Here. <laughs> Wait, I think. <laughs> we did have to do something. Okay, though. they're trying to kill me. They're like, oh yeah, turn down this dark alley here. We're over by the old barracks. Don't mind the needles and this abandoned fucking boat. <laughs> Anchors away. Anchors away, my boys. Now, now I'm recording. <laughs> oh my god. Don't cry, mom. <laughs> we're, we're very proud of you. It was good to see you. It's the hardest part. I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.